In this video, I will be showing you how to create a simple Qt for MCU space application and run it on your development machine using Qt Creator. What this application will do is have some text and a button. When the button is clicked, it will change the color of the text to be different to what it started as. Here is a demonstration of what the end result will be. First, we start up Qt Creator and click on File, then New File or Project. As this is will be a MCU based application, we can make sure that Application Qt for MCU is selected on the project side and MCU Support Application in the middle. Then click on Choose. Now we will give our project a name, so I will call it Hello User MCU and we specify where it should be created in. For my purposes, I will leave it as the default, but you can change where it is saved. Now click on Next. The next page is about the version of Qt you want to use. If this is a clean setup, then you will likely have just a single desktop entry and entries that are related to the Qt for MCU installation. In this case, we want to build and test this for the Qt for MCU desktop version. So we untick the box next to Desktop and put a tick in the box next to Qt for MCU's 1.8 Desktop 32 BPP. And now we can just click on Next. And now we have a page regarding version control, or if it's a sub-project of a NetSystem 1. As this is a simple example, we can just skip over this and click on Finish. What we have now is a project that, if we choose to, could be built and ran straight away. We would only get a window with Hello World in the middle of it, but it is all ready to run out of the box. What we have here is our CMake list.txt file, which is for CMake to use when building. And we have a Hello User MCU.QML file, which is our user interface for which we will do our changes to. What we will do next is that we are going to add on the button that we want and anchor it to the parent so we don't have to worry about positioning things manually. So first we want to add our button to the form, so we need to create a button. So we will add that after the text entry. Inside our button we will first specify that we want to anchor it to the center of the bottom of the window. So we add anchors dot bottom parent dot bottom, and this will ensure that it is always in the center on the bottom for us. Now we need to give it a label. So we add text, change text color. As we have added on a button, then we need to add the import for it too. So we click out to the first import line, and add import cute quick dot controls 2.15. So this will allow us to use the button type. Lastly, we need to tell CMate that it will be using controls as well. So double click on the CMate list.txt entry on the left hand side. We won't go into detail as to what all of this does here, but for our purposes, find the target link libraries line and then add QUL colon colon quick or tr light, controls, style, default, to the end of it as such. If we were to run this now, we would be able to see our button and text, but clicking on the button will not do anything, so what we will do next is set it up so it will change the colour of our text when clicked on. To do that, we need to double click on the hello user mcu.qml file and click inside the text item. To be able to have the button make changes to the text item, we need to make sure it knows how to access the text item. So to do that, we add the line ID colon TST, so it has a unique identifier for the text item. Now we can click inside the button and add our unclicked handler, so that when it is clicked, we can have it change the color. So we can add the code to do that. The final step now is to go to build and run the example, so we can click on the run button here and shortly after it is built we will have the finished product. You have now completed your first Qt for MCU's application. 
If you have any questions or run into any problems while following this, then you can contact the Cute Support team via the Cute account and we can help you out further. Thank you for watching.